use of Swinex filtration for membrane mating. Part two, conjugation method. You are provided with a membrane filter in a Swinex filter housing. In order to prepare this for you, a membrane was placed in the Swinex filter housing. A drop of water was added to prevent membrane splitting during autoclaving and an O-ring seal added. The filter housing was closed loosely, wrapped and autoclaved. Because the donor Enterococcus faecalis is an opportunistic pathogen, you must work with gloves and safety glasses. Pipette one milliliter of donor and one milliliter of recipient into a clean universal container. Working close to the Bunsen burner, open the tin foil wrapper containing the filter. Check that the white o-ring is in the correct position. Tighten the Swinex filter to ensure there will be no leaks when performing the filtration. Position the Swinex filter on top of a clean universal container. Retain the tin foil for later use. Aseptically remove the plunger from a 10 milliliter syringe and secure this on top of the Swinex filter, again working close to the Bunsen flame. One milliliter of donor and one milliliter of recipient is added into the syringe. Replace the plunger. Holding the universal Swinex syringe setup securely, push down on the plunger. You must maintain pressure on the plunger until all of the culture has passed through the filter. Do not allow the plunger to snap backwards as this may rupture the membrane filter. Remove the Swinex from the top of the universal. Open the Swinex filter. Using alcohol, flame the tweezers and transfer the white filter membrane to the surface of the TSA plate.
This plate will now be incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours.